And this AAC conference clash is underway with Isabella Peterson. The Tawarton finalist from 2023 winning the opening draw. Josie Hahn just a step closer. Yeah, those are the kind of one-on-one -on -one matchups that are going to tell the difference in this game today. Gonzalez finds the cutter. It's Pavanelli. Oh, Gators grab the first goal. And just a perfect low to high feed here. Great job off ball movement. And Danielle Pavanelli is going to finish those every single time. Long ways way back. Peterson picks up her second draw. Double comes by the Heller twins. And Hannah called for the foul. Quickly on the restart. Inside to Peterson. Gets free and ties it up. And able to finish there for a 49th goal. One on one against Caitlin Davies. They work it to Peterson. All kinds of space. Forced to put it on. And it goes right to the stick of Fennell. I don't think she was expecting that. Working inside late. That shot was affected by Teresa Bragg. Florida just won for its first six shooting today. Pavanelli looking to get free. Takes a big hit upstairs. No call. To your point. There you go. Ten seconds left on the green. Pass inside. Can't connect there. Nice pick up by Gonzalez. Goals free for a moment. And Han scores. This is what happens when you, you, know, you follow your shots and the Gators are able to open it up and with that player advantage, find a wide open lane in, in the front of the net. And we'll see if the strategy shifts for Florida. Liz Harrison loves to win them to herself, but Duke's not allowing it. Fennell, a great stuff. A nice screen for JMU, freed up Maddie Epke. JMU numbers the other way. How about that recovery? Not out of the woods just yet. Florida finally sets up its defense in the final 15 seconds of the quarter. Epke gets by the defense, but is denied in front. And their last loss at Johns Hopkins on March 30th, they gave up 21 goals. Pavanelli to the middle. No. Bowden with her first save, and it's a big one. Heller steps up, can't score. Second time, no. Controlled around the crease by Hall. Florida will get a third shot on the possession. Peterson ties it up. This player in this one, she now has 50 goals on the season, her second in the afternoon. And yeah, like I said, with the two minute advantage there, it doesn't really matter when you're at that center hash, and she makes no mistake about it. Florida's had a one goal lead a couple of times. Monaco gives it to them again. And an immediate response from Florida to yeah, get a 3-2 lead. Sean, we've seen Gianna Monaco have some uh, good opportunities at the goal line extended, and this time they just find her right in the low slot. That's her wheelhouse and have draws. Lauren Savage, nine goals on the year. Three in purple is Really filling the void of some of the injuries here and right on cue. Curling around, untested. James Madison with a rebuttal thanks to Emily Simkin. Yeah, and to your point, I mean, you talk about the impact of winning the draw control has, especially when you're talking about you know, with players. All-American on All-American. Pavanelli, eyes set towards goal. Trying to get there before the James Madison defense can set up, but Hall. Seasoned veteran will back it up, go to path. Inside, no! Oh. Down to 15. Bragg, off the pickup, no! And Fennell. Hannah Heller in a full sprint. She scored a couple weeks ago at Vanderbilt, but will toss it. To her offense, Pavanelli over to Monaco on the crease. And another denial 
And a trap in the crease by Bowden. Late. Shot clock again. Dangerous from Waters, avoids the foul call on Morgan. Five to shoot. Final seconds, Clark gonna have to put up something, gets free, and is stopped again. Falk just nowhere to go. Pavanelli to Egan. A low percentage shot easily saved. As Florida looking around for a call as Pavanelli picks herself up. But again, that doesn't tell the full story, John. There have not been a lot of high percentage looks and the few that each team has gotten, they've uh. capitalized on. Falk dishes Pavanelli, all kinds of space, lets it rip for the goal! That it's no surprise to see why she's top five in points all time in Gators history. Gosh, just a rocket to that bottom left corner. One for two today. The time they did convert, it was right after an Emily Heller yellow on a free position shot by Peterson, who has it here against Heller. Nice job by Celeste Forte. Looking inside, Peterson. Had to go upstairs to reel that in. Now Epke to the middle. Goes low for the goal. Finally, she gets on the score sheet. Just through traffic, right? The low to low shot. I think maybe caught Fennell off guard a little bit. That'll be it here with 26 to go. Now jostling for position on the opposite wing. Heller steps up. Can't score. Florida struggling on the free position now, 0 for 3. Down to 15 seconds. Waters, been quiet in the first half, has her pass knocked down. Heller loses it, trying to get it back. Loose change on the field. Florida can't get a handle on it. Oof. And James Madison with a strong stand to end the first half. Take a 4-4 game to the locker room. It was an even battle in the first 30 minutes. Both coaches feel like whoever dominates here or even wins the battle going to come out on top as Epke starts the second half like she did the first with a draw control against Harrison. Epke turning on the Jets. She's going for goal, but is stopped by Fennell. But moments later, Epke turns it over. Pavanelli with numbers the other way. Finds Heller running on the doorstep. Hall fakes and scores. Oh, Offense so dynamic, and they're able to get the odd man rush here. It's a four on three, and when you got your superstars. Epke looking to get space off the screen. Draws the switch on Davies. Now Pansini patrolling the crease. James Madison looking to attack, and they knot it up again. A stick slam from the Dukes and Caitlin Morgan. Cash is in for her 25th goal of the year. After dominating. See if Florida is able to get it back once again. The Dukes answer the call. I don't know if I've ever seen a game as back and forth like this one. Epke with a third straight JMU draw to open the second half. One of the rare times Florida has struggled this year. Peterson falling away, gives JMU the lead. She spins, takes a knee, puts it past the goalkeeper through the wickets. That is a phenomenal goal by one of the country's very best. Help comes to force the pass to Hall. I used to play towards the top of the offense. She goes low for Monaco, finds the cutting Pavanelli, and I think it was intercepted. Morgan just had the goal in the third to tie it up. Can't work past Pansini. Now Epke against Falk going to her left. Right to the stick of Fennell. Dukes really making Florida think twice about free position shots. And another save. Monaco tried to go low, not there. On the second try, Pavanelli can't hold on. But earns possession back. Broken play, looking for the cutter, Sarah Falk. 
impressive. You know, maybe a little bit frustrated with the way the free positions have gone so far today, but Sarah Folk makes no mistake about it. She's playing some great lacrosse in the back half of the season. Right now, Florida needs to step up between the 30s. Epke is just dominating. And quickly, off the jump, Fennell standing on her head right now. Looked like from Maddie Waybrecht. And Heller steps up and scores. Florida finally breaks through on the free position once again. Uh, just seconds after you said she was all on the score sheet, yet she makes it happen here. Two teams that lost most of their defensive stars from last year. You wouldn't be able to guess that as Peterson rings that one off the post. Hall just one goal on four shots, steps up and scores. Three since falling behind. And they turn to their superstars, Maggie Hall, towing the crease there, but she's able to put it past the net minder. She's earned them. Yeah, I think Mandy and everybody else will take a poor shooting effort for Maggie Hall if it means you win some of those 50-50 battles on the ground. Hannah Heller with a great knockdown and the pick up on the other end. JMU leading the draws 10-6. But not the advantage you expect. Waters forced back and a long shot easily saved by Bowden. JMU can breathe for a moment. No numbers trying to find Peterson. Oh, it's Fennell in the passing lane. At least gives you more room to work with against a goalie if you can get that far. But okay. JMU's closing speed has also been a factor in these Florida misses. Waters rips wow. and is stuffed. That's why you see cause turnovers. They're among the lowest in the nation, but they do and make plays like that. Gonzalez tries her luck. Oh, what a move. Ashley Gonzalez. Who expected that? Step down and take a shot. She didn't get all the top side, but just enough to get that left leg planted and then just rifles it far post. Heller starting to step up in the draw circle against the 5'8", Maddie Epke. A sophomore named to the Tawarton watch list a couple weeks ago. Race towards the sideline. Paisley Egan overruns it. And Ava Bleckley has it. Pavanelli took her eyes off the ball. Doesn't pay the price there. Makes her run. Gonzalez curls around. Tried to go upstairs. Bowden guessed right. Time expires on the possession. JMU a little slow on the restart, and here comes the transition offense. They've got numbers. Egan in a full sprint. Pavanelli. Gonzalez. Score! Beg your pardon, it's Gianna Monaco, 27 and white. Welcome back, Gianna, with a great goal, setting herself up in front. Clear's been perfect once again for this Florida offense, and whoo, how about that fake high finish low? All around for Florida. Second time this year, Finale has hit double-digit saves. High in the air, Heller can't win it. Great smack by Epke. Struggles, winning it on the turf. Now picks it back up. Heller, got to be careful, already shown a yellow today. Well, that's where the difference on the scoreboard has been made up, despite lacking between the 30s for one of the only times this year. Peterson going to try to lead the comeback herself. <laughs> Fennell with another fine save. But Florida 75 seconds on the shot clock. I would expect a quick shot here. Or not, yeah. Heller! Goal, Control with 8.09 left. Pedal to the metal. Oh, selfless. This time we'll pull it back out. 75 seconds on the shot clock, nearing the midway point of the fourth quarter. 
What a fake! What a finish! Florida tightening its grip for AAC Championship. Oh, just the look away here, Sean, for Ashley Gonzalez. Got two defenders to bite. Knobloch, the captain, has just had nothing today. Peterson does have another hat trick. Finds the open Caitlin Morgan. Dished out four assists in the win last year as Knobloch. Comfortable save for Fennell. Eh, what do I know? Content to kill more clock as we approach five minutes to play in Gainesville. Sarah Falk now down to 10. Inside, Pavanelli can't get free. Back to Heller, an absolute rocket! From Emily Heller. Well, it's orange and blue weekend. We got our neighbors over at the Condren Bar Park. Getting on target more often in the second half. I've just struggled to contain this run. Heller weaving through the defense. Loose ball out of Josie Hahn's stick. Dukes win it back. Peterson to the midfield trying to find Epke. Bragg in a battle. And the sophomore for JMU pulls it out. Back to Peterson. With a move, goes top shelf for her fourth goal. And ends the long JMU route. The very best in all of the country. This one probably too little too late, but well, you see the accuracy there. Ping in the corner, a nice transition play for the Dukes. Lizzie Piracino got with her hand in the cookie jar. Only midway through the shot clock. Dump in front, Han! Finding a sliver of space. Nets her second. He hauled today and with the shot clock winding down, finding right on the doorstep is Josie Hahn and the Gator just continuing to do what they've done all year. This is going to be kind of deflating for this program and it uh, shapes up for, and I'm hoping we get to see these two go at it again in the AAC tournament, another great battle, one they'll be even more desperate for. Egan with a rip and score. Getting some separation late from the Dukes. It's a seven goal fourth quarter for Florida. Egan. A lot of question marks about the Gators who dropped their first two games against quality opponents. One at Maryland and now will add a third ranked win to their resume in 20 seconds time. The defense held it down for the first 45 minutes. The offense comes alive in the fourth quarter with seven goals compared to just one for JMU. Number nine, Florida, with a brilliant second half run.